Welcome to Let's Build This. My name is David, and in today's video, we are gonna bust open this 3D printed mold for making forge carbon parts. I spent the last month designing, prototyping, and testing out different mold designs so that I could build this custom set of door handles for my Avid Flyer Mark IV. It's a bush plane that I'm building, so be sure to follow along. My goal here is to create the ultimate reusable 3D printed mold. So let's get started. Yesterday, I applied the mold release. I mixed up my epoxy, I brushed it on, and I stuffed it with carbon. For this part, I'm using long strand, medium strand, and short strand. For more details on this process, you can check out my other videos. Then it was time to squeeze this together and clamp it in the vise. Then I let the parts cure overnight. All right, let's get these gloves on. I'm gonna go get some pliers. All right, now we're gonna break this mold open. I'm first gonna take all the screws out, so that way as I start to split the mold, It'll hopefully just break apart. So we're first gonna split this cap off. So I'll just tap that a few times. That was pretty easy. So you can now see where the top part of this shaped the contour of that door handle. Next, we'll split apart the bottom half. Now we just gotta get the other half of this out. So I'm just gonna wedge just right in here at the top just a little bit. And there you have it. So there's my part. It definitely has some flashing to it, but that's gonna be really easy to clean up. So you can see exactly where the part lines are on the back side and along this edge here as well. I'm not sure exactly how many parts I'll get out of it, but I definitely should get a handful. The only cleanup I've gotta do is clean up all of the mold release, which is all water soluble. And then just where I had to pry that part out, there's just a tiny bit of scuffing there. But honestly, it's so minor, you almost can't even feel it. In the previous molds, I made it so that I had a left and a right side mold of the handles. But on this design, I'm able to use the same part for both the left and right sides of the airplane. I just love when you can reduce a design down to the simplest form. The other thing I did in this design is I made the part much bigger and a little bit thicker as well. I wanted that part to be nice and sturdy. So now the part looks way more refined. It looks awesome. Now let's talk about how I tested out different molds. The original mold was a three-part mold. The one side split into two parts and then had a top cap. And this worked pretty well, but I still destroyed the mold taking the parts out. And then for the second mold, I created a double mold for each part and I used five degrees of draft on all parts. And I added these ejector pins with the hope that I'd be able to push the parts out. And it was a total disaster. But after a bunch of work breaking these molds apart, I was still able to get some solid parts. So I went back to the original design with a three-part mold where the one side splits in half. I also flipped the orientation on this new design so that the part came out much easier. That made it so I had to stuff both parts of the mold. And so I made sure to get enough carbon in both sides. And when I squished it together, if there was a little too much, I just simply removed it. It also features this specific keyway that aligns all the parts together. And it has these chamfered edges to make it easy to split. In this version, I made it so it bolts together so I could test it out. But in a future version, I'm actually going to have these clips that snap onto either side so that you can basically just unsnap the clips and you're done. When I printed this mold, I printed at a 50% infill. Now we just got to do our usual cleanup, get rid of all the flashing, sand the parts, very minor fill repair, drill out the holes for the hardware, and final sanding. After all the sanding, I sprayed on a matte finish clear coat and then did the final assembly. I did a rough fit up on the door using two stainless steel rivets and tested it out. Everything came out really nice and it functions really well. All right, my final thoughts on this project. I'm stoked with how those molds came out. They worked super well. The parts looked awesome. They function really well. I'm super happy about it. So would I do it again? Absolutely. Do I plan to make more parts? A hundred percent. I still need to make the door handle on the other side and finish that off. I'm going to make a few tweaks to this as well and do a little bit more cleanup. But overall, this was a great project. If you're looking to do forged carbon, I definitely recommend it. It is a fun experience. If you have any comments or questions, be sure to drop them down below. If you want to see what else I'm up to or other projects that I'm working on, check out the videos right here. Till the next one, we'll catch you later. That's it.